Now let's deal with the continuity equation. The continuity equation is a very long-winded way of saying that if you have a pipe, that the water into the pipe equals the amount of water coming out of the pipe. Okay, so that's the theory. So basically what we're saying is that the we need to say the volume of it in equals the volume out. Or another way of saying that is the flow rate at point A is going to equal the flow rate at point B. So the amount flowing in has to equal the amount coming out. At least there's a black hole or something in the middle there that nobody's telling us about. So basically that's what it says. Continuity equation basically says to sub stuff substance in equals substance out. It's a conservation of matter or mass flow. So if we're dealing with the flow rate, if we're dealing with the flow rate specifically, QA, the flow rate that is going to equal the volume, oh sorry, the velocity at point A times the area of A. So that's going to be that's going to be our flow rate. It's the velocity times the area. And again, QB, point B, going to be the velocity at B times the area at B. So Chris, due to conservation, we're just saying QA QB, velocity A, area A equals velocity B. That is the continuity equation. So let's actually see how this actually works in practice. So for a pipe that narrows from 300 millimeter diameter. Make that equal a 150 millimeter diameter. If the liquid entering or a point A is traveling at like two meters per second, what is the exit velocity? Basically, what is dB? dB equals what? So we're going to use our lovely little equation over here. So first thing we do is we draw a picture. This is a good general practice. Always draw a picture. So the pipe here starts. 300 mil finishes at 150 mil. So we're going to call this A, B. Write down, the next step we do is write down what we know. Diameter at A is 300 mil. Diameter at B is 150. And the velocity at A, 2 meters per second. We want to find out velocity at B. So now we have to find the problem. Let's go and actually work on it. So, we start with our continuity equation. V A, area of A, V B, V. We Remember, area for a circular pipe is going to equal pi over 4 squared. This is exactly the same as pi r squared. So I can now go velocity a, or substitute, substitute this into here, is equal to pi over 4 d, d and a squared 
velocity at B, pi over 4 B squared. Now comes the interesting part because we've got a pi over 4 here and a pi over 4 here. These cancel. We just get rid of those. Velocity at A is equal to diameter A squared, which is equal to velocity at B diameter B squared. And I want to find out velocity B, so I just rearrange this to find both sides by adding time to B. So velocity at B is equal to velocity at A over times A squared times B squared squared. <coughs> Now we click numbers and once we've actually got that rearranged, as a, as a general rule, sometimes we don't do this, but as a general rule, we rearrange it first, we plug in the numbers, and we write down the end. So we've got 2 meters per second times diameter A is 0 0.3 meters squared over diameter B, which is 0 0.150 meters squared. Now what's that going to be? 8 meters per second. Check with calculator as we can. So 2 times 0.3 squared divided by 0.15 squared equals 8 meters per second. So the water coming in here is going at, going at 2 meters per second and it's extinct here at 8 meters per second. So that's the basic use of the continuity equation.